I looked in the mirror and glared at my reflection. My thin blonde hair laid on my shoulders. My white dress with blue lining swished with my slightest movement. My hazel eyes had no comparison. I moved my hair so I could grab it in one hand. I raised the knife to my hair and split it where, with a forceful swipe. I watched it all fall to the floor and looked back at the mirror. My hair hung suspended above my shoulders. I took the black ribbon from the side table and used it to tie my hair back. Once it was tied, I grabbed the tricorn hat and positioned it on my head. Then I unlaced my dress and corset and shimmied out of them. I grabbed the strip of cloth and struggled to tie it behind my back. Then I saw Anne in the mirror. I smiled at her and she rushed forward to help me. When she was done, I turned to look at her. A red handprint covered her face. I bent down and kissed it. She looked at me with tearful eyes. Don't cry, little one, I smiled. You and Ralph will come and live with me as soon as I can send for you. She handed me my shirt and red jacket. I buttoned the jacket and tightened the breeches around my waist. I turned and looked back in the mirror, and Anne smiled at me. She handed me my father's sword, and I tightened the belt around myself. You look excellent in a red coat, Martha, Anne praised. You'll be a beautiful, oh, I mean handsome, soldier. I smiled. Anne and Ralph were the only reason I was becoming a red coat.